seen some of the good deeds that you've done for the people of this planet. I can no longer be jealous when you clearly deserve your glory. Forgive me, brother, and accept my apology. Thank you, Ultra Magnus. I do. Yes. Just as gullible as you always were, Prime. Now that your defenses are minimal, I'll absorb all your energy. You'll regret this, Ultra Magnus. <laughs> I really doubt it. Ultimate Energy Combiner, Omega Prime! What is that? Omega Prime! Hey guys, it's Professor Prime with MindYourPlanet.com and today we are going to be talking about the 40 years of Transformers Legacy. This is probably one of those things where I first, when Mr. J told me, I my brain didn't think of what it was and I was like, ah, I don't really care for city bots. And then I actually was like, wait a minute, I looked it up and I was like, oh, oh, it's Omega Prime. For those of you who don't know who Omega Prime is because either you grew up like, like your G1 and your G1 only or you just didn't, you know, get into it, but not to be confused with Transformers Robots in Disguise that came out like a couple years ago. That was supposed to be a sequel to Transformers Prime, but it was not. It's weird. Anyways, back in 2001, a little reboot came out called Transformers Robots in Disguise. That's what it was called in America. I think it was also called the same thing in Japan as well. But anyways, it was a complete reimagination of the Transformers story where the Autobots come to Earth, followed by the Decepticons. And for the first time in like a really long time, and I think the only time actually that Optimus Prime wasn't a, you know, a truck, he was a fire engine, which I know a lot of people didn't like that. It was different. A lot of the older fans didn't like that, but I thought it was a decent show. I watched it when I was a kid with my brother. One of the unique things about the show was that they introduced something called super linking. And basically, it's basically just to, you know, sum it up, it's the definition of of combiners. So essentially combiners, as you may know, is when a bunch of uh, Autobots or Decepticons, which are normally on their own weaker, separate. But when they join together, like for example, the Constructicons form Devastator. Well, the Constructicons are pretty weak on their own, but when they turn into Devastator, well, they start wrecking house. So when you have two mighty Autobots like Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus, which if I remember correctly in the show, Ultra Magnus was kind of a like an anti hero. He wasn't necessarily with the Autobots, but he wasn't with the Decepticons either. He was still considered an Autobot, he like, but he just was like not having it with Optimus being the leader. He was felt like he should have been the leader. His character arc was very much, was very different from his G1 counterpart. And essentially, I remember, if I remember correctly, when Optimus Prime needed help, uh, Ultra Magnus offered to help him thinking he was going to take over Optimus Prime and take the Matrix from him, but it actually ended up forming into Omega Prime, which wrecked House. And I think by the end of the show, uh, Ultra Magnus and Prime kind of had settled their differences and they were like working together and stuff like that. So that being said, there was a toy that was released way back in the day. I never saw it in store. I think I did have the Prime. I think I did have Prime, but I never got Got Ultra Magnus, never saw. I thought about picking it up a couple years later. Actually, yeah, a few years ago, I thought about getting it. I think there's a third party version of this character that was put out a couple years ago. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know there was an Armada version, but it's worth a lot of money now. It's it's not something I can just go buy for like, you know, for $300, which is essentially what this is. It's about $250. Uh, I ended up upgrading my, I also ended up renewing my, uh, my Pulse membership at the same time. So it was an additional $50, which also gave me free shipping. So essentially, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's about $318. Yes! You heard that right. Professor Prime here on Major Planet TV has backed Transformers Legacy, Robots in Disguise 2001, Omega Prime. So you guys can see it on the very bottom of the screen here. They need 10,000 backers. We still have 44 days left. We have 44 days, three hours and 20 minutes left as I've loaded this page up and we are almost halfway there so i think this is going to get back now here let's take a look at this these are render shots okay this is not final production this is early on i think this was just announced a couple days ago actually uh i wouldn't have even known about it if it wasn't for mr j so this is optimus prime and his super mode which he combines with the trailer uh he could also combine with jetfire he could also combine with jetfire so 
And then here is here's here's what it looks like. You know, it's 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 gonna be a chunk figure. This is a this is what I, I like to call this is what I like to call Studio Series style figures, where Studio Series are basically chunk figures, but with a premium price because they have you know more paint, more articulation. They're more more uh, sculpt to what the original, uh, you know, like for the movies or like the animation, like it's more closer to the animation or film versus like what the chugs are, which are just kind of like a representation of them. So, and then it comes with the the base. So this is his base mode, essentially the trailer part of the fire truck, which is, you know, got the hydrant. And then here we have Ultra Magnus, which basically Ultra Magnus comes completely apart. It just folds on top of Prime. And as you guys can see here, for those of you who might know, this, you might be, oh, well that looks like the for Cybertron. His his alt mode is a very reminiscent. Well, actually, actually the other way around. The the Ultra Magnus from War for Cybertron actually is a, is a homage to this. So then he comes with this guy as a mini con. I don't remember who that was. You know, it's a little little accessory. And then you know this is how they would combine. Like they'd hold hands, or like you know, like friendship, and then boom. Uh, here's Optimus Prime again. This is a render shot. This is not final production. This is what Optimus looked like normally. He still had the G1 aesthetics, like with the with the windows and the chest plate, but he was a fire truck. Now here's a size comparison. So he, so the little the little box, blue bolts, blue bolts. He is 5.7 inches tall, which is about a little shorter than your standard Marvel Legends figure. Okay, those are normally about six inches. And then Ultra Magnus stands, and I don't know if they're counting his head or the wings, but he's standing at 11.5 inches. And then uh, Optimus, uh, Super Mode Optimus Prime, I don't remember what it was called now. It was, it was Super Optimus Prime, just something like that. Stands at 12.25 inches tall, which is pretty tall. It's pretty tall. That, that's, uh, is that all they have? Is that all the pictures? They're not having a picture of Ultimate? Oh, here we go. So then here is Ultimate Optimus Prime, his full glory. I think that was the first picture yeah, that was the, oh and then you've got he also had the shoulder cannons that prime could do so yeah that's all the photos uh so what does it come with so you're paying 250 dollars for a premium finished figure you are and to be honestly for 300 dollars you're getting uh the 5.8.5 inch octopus prime figure you're getting a 15 inch command center which is the the thing that attaches the prime that turns into a super mode you get uh, blast accessories, which I'm assuming that's like guns. The guns, their guns. I said that two times. Uh, probably blast effects for their guns, I'm assuming. Uh, two Matrix of Leadership accessories. I don't know if that means two different Matrix of Leaderships, like one for Optimus Prime, maybe and then a different one that's inside for Omega, uh, Omega not Omega Supreme. Uh, yeah, Omega Prime, uh, maybe. Uh, then you get an 11.5 inch Ultra Magnus figure, and then you get the Blue Bolt mini figure, which attaches for Optimus. And then you get, you know, you get, you get Ultra Magnus's alt mode, you get Prime alt mode, plus the super mode, plus you get their combined mode. So for basically two different, two Autobots, and four modes, yeah, because they each have their own base, well, five modes, actually, because Prime has his base mode, he has his regular mode, he has a super mode, that's three right there. You have Ultra Magnus, which is truck mode, and then, or, you know, his regular mode, and then you have the super mode. And then you get a little Minicon, which is actually almost the size of a, of a, of a Legends figure, so, I mean, you're, there's that, too. Uh, so let's talk about the unlocks because this only needs 10,000. Now I'm kind of upset. Well, I shouldn't say upset. It's underwhelming. I would think that a lot of Haslabs in the past have sold based on the fact that the unlocks is what people want. Okay. So for $250, I feel what they're giving you out of the box, if it just hits like say 10,000 backers exactly, and that's it, I think it gives enough. I think it's enough. You get, you get Omega Prime, which turns into two robots which one of them has an extra super mode, plus they transform into their vehicle modes, plus a minicon. I'm going to keep calling him a minicon, even though he's not a minicon, but it's basically a minicon. I think that's pretty good. Now, do I think the unlocks are underwhelming? Very much so. I don't think anybody who's backed this, there's over 4,000 people that backed this already as of the recording of this video. I don't think anyone is what is I'm doing it. Oh man, I got to get this because I got to get that Matrix Blade accessory. Or, oh my God, the global space bridge display base. I need those. I need those. Honestly, I feel like a display base should just come automatically. Like if it's a special thing, like like a throne, right? Like with, um, with Death Saurus, there was a throne. That I can understand being maybe an unlock. These are just your basic stands that most masterpiece figures from Takara come with. 
There's only a few of them that don't come with bases, but for the most part, that's all this is. And we're going to scroll down here, and then we got the video, the legendary combination. Uh, the, and, it, and here was cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna butcher his name, but it's actually the toy. This is being designed by the original creator who designed the original toy back in 2000. That, that's right there. That right there makes me want to, made me want to get it too. Plus, they've also added, you know, modern articulation. So we're getting, you know, Robots in the Skies toy, but if it was released today with how, with the standards of Hasbro when it comes to articulation, like uh, ankle joints, pivots, you know, just the, the modern articulation of today. And then, of course, you know, again, we're going through all the stuff you get, all the command center, what it can do, the articulated ladder, the missiles, the five millimeter ports for blast effects. Yep, that's the uh, Titan Master. Uh, okay, you get all that. The Super Mode. Yeah, Octopus Prime Super Mode. That's what it was called. Yeah, this command, it connects to Octopus Prime for Super Mode. So yeah, there's, this is Prime. This is Prime when he attaches to his base, or part of the base anyways, and then Super Mode. So again, these are all renders. And then we got Ultra Magnus. You know, it gets, oh, it enhanced anchor articulation for dynamic poses which he did not have originally he's pretty stiff robot actually converts from robot to carrier you, we all know that dual level vehicle storage can store three deluxe class figures or cars that that is impressive i don't think the original could do that so that's pretty cool subject to availability which nobody's gonna have deluxe class figures for robots in the sky uh vacuum metal eyes okay that's pretty cool and then the blue bolts, which converts your robot to a weapon accessory. So, I mean, he is what it is. I mean, he's just a little guy, a little accessory. And then you get Omega Prime. Omega Prime. Uh, combination begins with handshake, just like the original toy. Yep, you have to do that. And then that activates, you know, the arm. Ultra, Ultra Magnus' arm opens up and folds down to turn into the fist cover of the figure. So, uh, can attach to a shoulder mount weapon system. That is awesome. So, it's, so basically, you're getting to use all of it. And this is, and here's the thing. This is kicking out the 40 years of of, of of the thing that's crazy now remember we still got the the g1 prime you have to remember that they have the g1 prime that they they released for pre-order last year in celebration of transformers 40 years so there's that too coming out so let's talk about this Unlocked tier at 13,000 backers. 23.5 inch matrix blade. Like, like really, like who? Like for my display, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, like it's cool. Like it's definitely cool. Like I'm, I'm like, it's massive. But I, I don't, I, I for third, I don't know, 13,000. And then here's the display bases. You get two of them for unlock two. These are just a generic, they're just generic. For 16,000 backers, I feel like Hasbro could have done better. I feel like Hasbro could have done a lot better. I don't know what they could have done. Uh, they could have maybe added, they could have maybe, I mean, the only other bot that I know that would combine with Optimus would have been uh, Jetfire. And I, and honestly, Jetfire, I think is just as big as Ultra Magnus. And even if you were to do like a 16th, now if, if Hasbro was smart, I mean, and it depends, it probably would have cost, they probably would have been $300 instead of 250 but if they had made Jetfire part of the 16,000 back like a tier two or even like a tier three like say 20 say 22,000 backers you get Jetfire this would have instantly backed this would have instantly backed guys I'm not even kidding you like like it honestly like and I'm that's why I'm not too upset about these unlocks because these are just like meh like you can 3d print this like a stand you can get that 3d printed for less money the sword again if I really want to display this sword with my figure I can just 3d print this 3D print it and paint it, and it's the same thing. So I feel like the tiers are a little weak. I don't think I don't think we might get we might get tier one. Tier one might get unlocked. I don't think anybody cares about tier two because I almost guarantee you, 100. percent There, are, I everybody's gonna display this thing like that. They're gonna display it. They're, that's how I'm gonna display it. I mean, I might every now and then display him because the, the reason I'm getting this figure, the reason why I backed it, is is because it's Optimus Prime. Because I have an Optimus Prime display with all the different versions of Optimus Prime. So the reason why I'm backing this because this is like, oh, I don't have. I don't have Omega Prime, so I'd like to get Omega Prime, right? It's the only reason why I'm backing it. That's the only reason, guys. So, guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this. Like, it's already a, it's already at almost 5,000 backers. Like, I bet you if I refresh the page, it's probably gonna be at 3,000. Or sorry, 5,000. Yeah. Oh, it didn't really go up very much. It hasn't got up. Maybe I don't know when it goes up. But yeah, guys, it's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. This is it, this looks amazing. It looks awesome. I'm super excited to get my hands on this in 2025. <laughs> we got a whole year, so like I'm gonna. It's gonna be one of those things. Like like I'll do. I'll probably do another video on this when it gets closer to the end whether or not it's going to back or not 
I personally want it to back. If this figure does not, if I do not get this figure because it doesn't back, I will not be too, I will not be completely butthurt over it because I will just look and see if there's a third party version coming out. I almost guarantee you if this doesn't get backed, I almost guarantee you somebody, some third party company is going to come out with one or if there was already one that was released a long time ago, it'll get re-released. And then also too, the original is probably going to skyrocket in price too because people are like, oh, I got to have the original too. So that's going to skyrocket. So if you have this figure, if you have the original figure and you're not like, oh, I don't really need it now's the time to sell it okay if you want to make like make some extra money on the side here now's the time to sell it guys but yeah guys that's all i gotta say for today's episode of prime talk this has been professor prime of logicplan.com if you enjoyed watching this video and you enjoy videos like this please leave a like and a comment down below and as always guys check out the video right up here in the corner if you want to see more and as always until next time